sampler or you want to change the nebulizer, stuff like that. And that's mainly caused by the Arcos generator being a free-running generator. I mean, the free-running concept uh, with the plasma being part of the resonance circuit of the generator allows for the generator to instantaneously adapt by a slight frequency change to the sample, the momentary sample load, the plasma impedance. And that frees um, a great amount of power to excite and uh, deconstruct all kinds of samples, uh, be it alcohol or be it uh, fuels, organic, inorganic, salt loads, whatever. Is there a practical example that you can show us? Well, that's quite a drastic practical example that can be shown, and that is uh, running the plasma and then kind of a worst-case scenario, uh, disconnecting the spray chamber completely from the torch while the plasma is running. This is a very drastic load in um, plasma conditions because uh, the spray chamber is no longer connected, the gas flow will change, there will be air drawn into the torch and most generators will simply switch off because they cannot adapt quickly enough to this change in sample load. But you will see that the Argus generator will stay on. Okay, as discussed before, as a simulation of a quite drastic load change, we're going to disconnect the spray chamber from the running plasma and that's not a normal situation so don't do that at home but nevertheless it shows the adaptability of the generator. We're nebulizing DI water here, so no imminent danger, we open the cover. Disconnecting the spray chamber. And we see the plasma gets brighter, showing the generator adapting instantaneously to the change load, and we also see the aerosol that's coming out of the spray chamber. And uh, we're gonna now reconnect the spray chamber. And again, the generator has adapted instantaneously to the change load, showing the advantages of the free running 27 megahertz system that's installed in the Argus.